Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are studying a very important topic in Pharmac that is the drugs acting on CVS. This is a very important topic so watch all the lectures of this chapter carefully and before we begin please subscribe to our channel and hit on the bell icon so that whenever we upload a new lecture you get a notification of it. So let's begin today's lecture. What are CVS drugs? The drugs having their major action on the heart and blood vessels or the drugs which are primarily used for CVS disorders are called as CVS drugs. Now these CVS drugs may directly act on the CVS or it may indirectly act on the CVS through ANS, CNS, kidney autocoid. Now let us study the drugs affecting the renin angiotensin system. The drugs which affect the renin angiotensin system are of two groups. First are the ACE inhibitors or ACE inhibitors and second are the angiotensin receptor blockers. A short note on ACE inhibitors is more commonly asked in exams. So let us study first what is this renin angiotensin system. Now the plasma alpha 2 globulin is the precursor of angiotensin 2 enzyme. This plasma alpha 2 globulin it generates angiotensin 2. And this angiotensin 2 is associated with electrolyte homeostasis, maintenance of blood volume and pressure homeostasis in the body. Now, drugs which interfere with this production of angiotensin 2 have great importance in treatment of cardiovascular diseases. Now let us study how this angiotensin 2 enzyme is generated. Now we have see, uh, already discussed that plasma alpha 2 globulin which is also called as angiotensinogen is the precursor of angiotensin enzyme. So renin is an enzyme which is secreted by the kidney. And this renin, it acts upon this plasma alpha 2 globulin to form angiotensin 1. Now this angiotensin 1 is converted into angiotensin 2 by an enzyme called as the converting enzyme or angiotensin converting enzyme or kidinase 2. This angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2 by this ACE enzyme. Now this angiotensin 2 is generated in heart, blood vessels, kidney and adrenals. Now this angiotensin 2 has a short T half because it undergoes sev several degradation. It is acted upon by amino peptidases to form angiotensin 3, 4 and finally it, it is this angiotensin 4 is acted upon by the enzyme angiotensinases to form inactive fragments. So this is the life cycle of angiotensin enzyme. Angiotensinogen forms angiotensin 1. This angiotensin 1 is converted into angiotensin 2 by converting enzyme. Now this angiotensin 2 undergoes further degradation by amino peptidases and angiotensinases to form angiotensin 2, 4 and finally inactive fragments. Now what is the action of this angiotensin 2? This angiotensin 2 causes vasoconstriction and this vasoconstriction causes hypertension or increase in BP. This angiotensin 2 also increases the force of myocardial contraction. It reduces the cardiac output and it causes reflex bradycardia. 
Angiotensin II also causes hypertrophy and hyperplasia of the myocardial smooth muscles. It contracts the visceral smooth muscles. And this angiotensin II, it increases the aldosterone from the distal convoluted tubule of the kidney. And this increase in aldosterone causes increased sodium reabsorption and increased potassium and hydrogen excretion. Now, another important action of this angiotensin II is on the proximal convoluted tubule of the kidney which increases the reabsorption of sodium, chlorine and bicarbonate. Now, this angiotensin receptors are of two types. A angiotensin type 1 receptor and type 2 receptor. Lozartan is an antagonist to AT1 receptor while PD123177 is an antagonist to the AT2 receptors. Now, AT1 receptor, all the major actions of angiotensin 2 are mediated through this AT1 receptor. So, this receptor is very important. Now, what are the pathophysiological roles of the renin angiotensin system? This renin angiotensin system controls the mineralocorticoid secretion. The angiotensin 2 it is a stimulus for adrenal secretion for the from the adrenal cortex. The renin angiotensin system it uh, helps in electrolyte blood volume and pressure homeostasis. It helps uh, in uh, increasing the blood pressure, it causes secondary hyperaldosteronism. The CNS effects of the renin angiotensin system is that it promotes thirst, hormone release, and sympathetic outflow. Now, how is this? How is this renin angiotensin system inhibited? By help of certain drugs such as beta blockers, direct renin inhibitors, then ACE inhibitors, AT1 or the receptor blockers and the aldosterone receptors. So here in this chapter we will be studying in detail the ACE inhibitors and the AT1 receptor blockers. First, starting with the ACE inhibitors, that is angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. The list of drugs under this category are captopril, inalapril, lisinopril, benzipril, ramipril, perindopril, and trandopril. Now, remember all these uh, drugs which ends with pril, similar to april, comes under this ACE inhibitor category. Now, captopril is the prototype of the ACE inhibitors. Let us study captopril in detail. Now, the actions of captopril, it inhibits the angiotensin converting enzyme. It abolishes the pre-pressor action of angiotensin 1. It has no effect on angiotensin 2. It does not block the angiotensin receptors, but it increases the kinin level in the plasma so, it causes hypotensive action. Now, the captopril induced hypotension is a result of decrease in the peripheral resistance. Captopril use causes decrease in or fall in both systolic and diastolic blood pressure and captopril has no effect on the cardiac output. Now, the pharmacokinetics of captopril 70% of it is absorbed orally. There is decreased bioavailability of the drug if food is present in the stomach. Then the blood-brain barrier is poorly penetrated by this drug. Excretion is through urine. The T half of the drug is approximately 2 hours and it lasts for 6 to 12 hours. Now, the adverse effect of captopril the mnemonic for this is nothing but the name of the drug that is captopril. Each alphabet of this word, it denotes one of the side effect. C 
for cough. Use of captopril may result into al a uh, dry cough. Allergic reactions may also occur in the patient. There is hyperkalemia or potassium rise. The taste sensation may be altered due to the use of captopril. Edema or angioedema may occur due to captopril use. The patient increases photosensitivity. Renal failure has been reported. Indigestion and a very much a low BP or a fall BP is reported by regular use or chronic use of captopril. Now other ACE inhibitors are enalapril which is a prodrug. Because it is a prodrug it has a slow action but the duration of action is long. Secondly ramipril has an extensive tissue distribution and it has a greater inhibitory effect on the tissue renin angiotensin system. Now what are the uses of this ACE inhibitors? An easy mnemonic to remember the, the, the uses of this ACE inhibitors is home care makes the patient definitely strong. So each, each uh, first letter of each of this word represents one use hypertension, CHF, it can be used for myocardial infection, prophylaxis, diabetic nephropathy and scleroderma crisis. So home care makes the patient definitely strong is the mnemonic to remember the uses of ACE inhibitors. Now the next group of drug is the angiotensin receptor blocker. Now 81 receptor antagonists are Lozartan, Candesartan, Irbesartan, Valsartan and Telmisartan. Now Lozartan is considered as a prototype of this category of drug. Lozartan is 10,000 times more selective for 81 receptor than the 82 receptor. Lozartan is a competitive antagonist or inverse agonist of angiotensin 2 or it blocks the Block, uh, it losartan blocks all the actions of angiotensin 2. So, it blocks the vasoconstriction, it blocks the central and peripheral sympathetic stimulation, it blocks the release of aldosterone, it blocks the sensation of thirst, it blocks the salt and water reabsorption, and it blocks the vasopressin release. So, this is the action of losartan. Now, Lozartan reduces the PP for 24 hours, heart rate remains unchanged and the cardiovascular reflexes are also not altered. There is no change in the lipid profile, carbohydrate tolerance and insulin sensitivity by Lozartan. Now, pharmacokinetics. Oral bioavailability of this drug is 33%. There is high first pass metabolism. It does not cross the blood-brain barrier. It is excreted in the urine and the plasma T half of this drug is 2 hours. The adverse effects of Lozartan is hypotension may develop, hypokalemia, headache, dizziness and weakness. The potency of candy sartan is more than that of losartan while erbi sartan is less potent than losartan while valsartan and telmi sartan has equipotent effect uh, similar to losartan now the uses of losartan it is a first line antihypertensive drug due to its good efficacy it can be used for uh, chf MI and diabetic neuropathy. Advantage is that uh, as AC inhibitors causes cough, angioedema, rash, disguise, there is no such side effects with the use of the Lozartan or the 80, 81 receptor antagonist.
Now here we complete with the chapter on the drugs acting on the renin angiotensin system. The next lecture will be on the calcium channel blockers. Keep watching our lectures. Please subscribe to our channel and happy studying.